NBA free agency. See, to me, well, first on a, on a personal level, I, I think there's a lot of, or there were, a lot of disillusioned Knicks fans because they had $50 million, yeah. most by far of anybody in the NBA. I think it was only five or six teams had at least 20 mil. I think a lot of, I think a lot of NBA people, not just Knicks fans, thought that the Knicks were going to pounce in and do something that was going to elevate them from where they were a year ago, which was a first-round bump by the Hawks in five, a four seed, which was overachievement, to be fair, mm-hmm. to this team that was ready to threaten everybody. And there, that player wasn't there. Kawhi's hurt. Uh, Lowry, who we'll get to in a moment, and we know, you know, he's obviously on 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 the on the um, on the Heat now. The Heat are ready to, mm-hmm. you know, re, re, rebound. The Nets have all sorts of weapons. The Sixers aren't done. Uh, the East is incredibly stacked. I think when you look at NBA free agency pragmatically. Um, the, I, I think a lot of teams did a lot of good things, including my Knicks. And, and I know the Knicks fans aren't loving it, but I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped about what we have. I'm kind of running it back and showing the culture is there. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, that's what it, that's all you can do right now for the Knicks. You can't expect to be championship viable. I mean, after, that's what I'm saying. The expectations. I know, I know, are that's what I'm saying, though. People are. Oh, we got to the postseason. Oh, God, look at. Julius Randle, yeah, maybe he was yeah. most improved. And yeah, second team second All-NBA, team, all by NBA, the way. And all these other things, accolade. Oh, we, can, we can compete right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, pump your no, brakes. First not of ready all, for that. First of all, the East is still pretty dang good. Yeah. still a couple of good teams, including the defending champions. And the and the 76ers will sure they'll figure it out. But I, I think it, it is a step in the right direction. I think that's what most teams are trying to do in free agency. Some of them are actually trying to com- put, like, like a winning team together. It's what the Lakers did when they grab Russell Westbrook. It's, I think it's what the Heat are trying to do when they grab a Kyle Lowry. And that was Kyle, it. Who? Uh, Kyle Lowry. Lowry. I mean, that's the reason that that um, that deal, which you, we speculated about yesterday, seems so interesting because it's like, all right, we know they're good. right? We know they can get to the postseason, but they looked inept last year. They did. Right? Last season. Two seasons ago, they were great. Obviously, they got to the finals, but mm-hmm. it was different circumstances uh, down in the bubble in Orlando. And now you get Kyle Lowry, and I just and I wonder. What, I, I think it was the right move, but I wonder if it's a championship move. And that's 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 just hard to to predict for me, especially after watching what we watched with the Milwaukee Bucks, yeah. with their size and their just dominance and physicality. Kyle Lowry doesn't provide that. Mm-hmm. It gives he gives obviously another score, another leader, a ball handler, so all these other guys could be off the ball, and it's not necessarily on Jimmy Butler to, to carry so much of that load That's as the a point. leader. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, like the physicality is what is what we we saw in this past uh, championship series can win you a championship. I don't think the Heat have that as good as this move was. I don't know if it's a championship move for them. Well, well, here's the thing. It's not just Lowry. It's also P.J. Tucker. Mm-hmm. So who was the one who was in Kevin Durant's grill? Point. That Good would point. be P.J. Tucker. Good point. See, to me, this is a this is the best move of, of the entire, you know, so far, free agency. And we'll see if Lillard gets Tucker de- or Lowry? Well, Lowry, obviously Both. Lowry more so, yeah, but yeah. it's a package. A package, I got you. There is, you know, or there are certain teams that just, you know, have have a very similar DNA. Certain franchises that run the same, the, yeah, the right you. way. Yep. And it just feels like the Raptors and the Heat subscribe to so many of the same characteristics that are non-negotiable. Mm-hmm. So that is an easy transition. Sometimes, uh, very rarely, because the Heat have made so many smart moves over the last 20 years, but every once in a while, they'll they'll bring somebody in who, who might not understand, who thinks they understand, but doesn't seamlessly fit uh, the tough expectations, the, the, the grind, the grit, the accountability. Kyle Lowry's had that from day one. Mm-hmm. I saw it at Villanova, so did you. We've seen it in the NBA. Yep. Mr. Raptor, P.J. Tucker, that's why he's in the NBA. Yep. Uh, and I can make the case that if it wasn't for P.J. Tucker, the Nets would have beat the Bucks. Yeah. So I think that is the winningest move. Now you have, and, and this is a very important aspect of it, too often, not only last year, but even in the finals, but in the bubble, too often – Jimmy Butler has to worry about too many things. Now Kyle Kyle Lowry says, Jimmy, just I'll, I'll get you the rock in the yeah. right spot. I, yeah. You've got the mismatch. You'll abuse this guy. I'll get it to you. You don't have to worry about setting other guys up. And then once that happens, oh, look who's open. Boom, Robinson, five years, 90 mil, which, by the way, is the most money an undrafted free agent has ever gotten. Five years, yeah. 90. He deserves for Duncan. it. Oh, absolutely. He deserves it. Yeah, he does. I mean, he's, he's got to start playing way above himself. He will. I mean, he's, he's obviously 
been doing that, but he's got to really do it now after being paid that way. Um, the question is, are they getting out of the second round? I, they, I they... think the Heat can win the championship next really? season. But why, why, who's going to beat them? I mean, who? Why can't they? It's it, it's not necessarily. Let me frame it differently. It's... Who can't they beat? Well, I think they'll struggle against the Nets if the Nets are healthy. Okay. Which is a, okay. Uh, All right. It's admittedly I mean, an enormous gotcha. if. Because I don't know. <laughs> okay. I mean, they have so much talent, I've got to give you that. That's I mean, right. the Nets are, and they, when they're right, they're going to blow teams yeah. out. And then the Bucks, obviously, they take a hit because P.J. Tucker is now gone. Yep. And they don't have that other defensive, because Giannis is a really good defender. So is Chris Middleton. But they don't have that other defensive option. That or, playoff rugged yeah, guy. Yeah, exactly. That versatility, that guy who just annoys the hell out of you, no, basically. Yeah. And, and, and can shut down an opposing team's uh, number one score or, or whatever it may be. P.J. Tucker will be missed significantly for this for this uh, Bucks team. But mm-hmm. I still, I probably is still lean Bucks over Heat at this point, simply because of size, BT. Like, if you get matched up and you get Giannis playing small ball five like he did uh, for a lot of the uh, Sun series, especially after game two, then... Who who's stopping that for for the Heat? And so, and then it becomes, can we outscore you? And this is where Duncan Robinson's got to be light. He's got to be forty five percent. You know he, what I mean? He will be. You got to have Jimmy Butler not have some off days like he kind of did this postseason. Hero's got to rebound. That's a big key. Tyler Hero's got to start Hero's playing basketball gotta, again. Got to play. Stop like worrying about the, the Instagram bubble. models and yeah. going up on stage yeah. at rap concerts. Hey, Get back to the gym. Become a ball player he's, again. He's twenty. By the years way, old. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. He's twenty one years old. I was going to say my retort was he's twenty one years old. What the hell would you be doing? My real retort is can I join you? Exactly. But but I do think he got to away from basketball and and, and a lot of people right. around the heat think that as well. He'll yeah. get relocked in uh and I you know I am I a prisoner of the moment when I say that from top to bottom the yeah. Eastern Conference is as interesting as it's been it is. attached, you know, 10, 15, whatever year window you want. 76ers, Miami, yeah. the Nets, the defending champs, the Hawks now with Trey Young got the 5-year 206 mm-hmm. max deal. Uh we'll see what they do with Ben Simmons and the 76ers and how they recalibrate. Tobias Harris might be on the market. Do they get CJ McCollum? They mm-hmm. could. I mean, there's so many things that could happen. Uh, I, I think the Eastern Conference, and then you flip it over to the West, and Kawhi's probably not playing this year. Nope. I saw a number today, and we we can all, by the way, I don't love the Westbrook if he missed it. I don't love the Westbrook to the Lakers move because what he what he's deficient in is exactly what the Lakers need. But how's this for a number? The Lakers have five players over the age of 35 or 36 on their roster. Wow. The NBA's never had that before. Wow. I mean, come wow. on, man. They just signed Dwight Howard's back, and Trevor Rees is back, and now they're just, although I think Dwight Howard will help them, to be fair, but now they're just, like, scrounging pieces. They still can't shoot. Well, guess what? It's getting a little older. Carmelo Anthony. Woj is, is that official? I think Woj is just Woj bombing Carmelo Anthony to the L.A. Lakers. Is that really a Woj bomb or is that like a little firecracker that's, that's, at this that's, point? That's, that's a Woj. sparkler. What, what, what are the poppers? Those little poppers. Oh, I love those kids. things. Too. You just throw them at I, people. I do them in my finger. Yeah, exactly. Those well, little white things. Yeah, they're like exactly. they got the gunpowder yeah, in there. You throw them down on the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah. Well, a Woj little popper, wow. whatever it's called. Carmelo Anthony uh, will, Thank God. will be going to the Los Angeles Lakers. So you talk about old, man. Yeah. That's now six uh, exactly. over the age of 35. Exactly. Six uh, guys over the age of 35. And it's, I mean. that's There's I, no way that that's going to, I mean. And by the way, I'm thrilled because I was worried there was a thought he might reunite with the Knicks. I'm thrilled he is now a Laker. No, And I I'm, hope he does well. I'm, I don't mean that to diss Carmelo, but I didn't want him back with the Knicks. I'm wondering what the philosophy is. Like, what, Well, the philosophy now is desperation because they, they have so much money and they are in such salary cap hell They've got to feel the roster. Yeah. So they've got to take guys who are willing to to come on the cheap that are going to come to play chase with LeBron. Chip. Yeah, and play with LeBron. Yeah. So where are the shooters? I mean, I know Carmelo adapted he got a little bit better. Uh, a little, he adapted to a role nicely. I'll give him credit there with Portland. A bit overstated yeah. because he fizzled at the end. Yeah, you're right. But where are the snipers? I mean, they don't have any shooters, no, do they? They don't. They, they don't. Shoot. They don't. So it, it's it's almost like they're trying to play old school NBA basketball, and we know that's just it's just not going to work uh-huh. in 2021, 2022. Obviously, when the postseason gets around next year, but you just can't play old school basketball, and you worry about the length of a season because it's going to be back to 82 again, and then 
Uh, you get to the length of the postseason, and LeBron's older, and Carmelo's older. Westbrook is not young. I mean, he's not old, but he's not young either. Mm-hmm. It just—I don't know, man. I, I, I'm liking the Lakers a lot less than I did oh, two I, days ago. I, I didn't like him two days ago. I didn't like him two weeks ago. Let me throw this at you, and it, it's. <sighs> I'm really curious how you went. I thought mm-hmm. about this the other day, and as much as LeBron I annoy you, or I mean, that's probably not too not bothers me, but has rubbed me the wrong way on occasion. LeBron, yeah, yeah. very self congratulatory. Yep. The Instagram, look at me, 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 me. We get it, you, LeBron James. We get it. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're the man. We understand that. Yep. But all the pictures of himself without a shirt on, you know, the cameras, they, it's a little much. It turns me off. But the one thing, uh, uh, in addition to his undeniable greatness is that LeBron has always been a gym rat and a Mm -hmm. worker. Now, I'm asking you, as the former athlete, and you see what he's been doing this summer, Space Jam promotion. Are we sure that LeBron has taken basketball this summer as seriously as he's always... My instinct says no. No, it can't be. Okay. It, it can't be because of well, what, then they're dead. What, what the what he has in front of him that he has responsibilities to do. Uh huh. And I, 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 it, my career doesn't parallel his at all. But I remember when the things that I was doing outside of football became more important than preparing for football. Mm-hmm. That's when I knew it was time to retire. Yeah. yeah. And it feels like well, like shooting those Cadillac commercials. Yeah. No, that that was Take you over early. the bridge. That was early, man. That was like. 2001. Oh, that was that's right. You did tell me that. Yeah, that, that was, was early. That's that right. was right after that's right. right after the Super Bowl. Um, that's but it, right. But it was just traveling, like yeah. going to Israel yeah. and I don't know, going to the White House, just doing like different things that mm-hmm. were more interesting to me um, in my off season, not than playing football, but in my off season than lifting weights and working mm-hmm. out. And we know that that's how LeBron stays young. Yeah. He just grinds, and it's annoying as hell, but it it works, right? His 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 process works. Um, is there was there a gym on the set of Space Jam? Yes, the, for a fact when they shot it, I know for a fact that yeah. there was. Was he working out the same way in yeah. that gym? According to his Instagram post, he was. <laughs> okay, and I don't doubt it. But I mean, this summer that movie's already shot. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about now. Like when you're going out and there's premieres, and, and again, I don't begrudge him for it. He's, he's putting his best foot forward. He's got a life that is incredibly mm-hmm. unique, and he's earned it. And uh, he's never in any trouble. Uh, there's a, at the end of the day, LeBron's a great guy who doesn't who only really helps the world, That's right. you know, but never been in trouble. Ever. No, no, he's, he's done. So he said some things where he was wrong yes. a little bit early, a little bit erroneous in terms of, you know, things that are divisive and, and, and that's, that could be problematic as well because he has such a powerful voice, but in totality, LeBron James is a gem of a human being. Yep. I, I'm not challenging that. I am wondering slash stating that I think this is the first time that basketball has become secondary. Mm. The, or in terms of the summer, and maybe creeping into the season. Yeah. So if he's not LeBron, and now you've got Westbrook who can't shoot, Carmelo who's a turnstile on defense, uh, all these 35, 30s, where are they going? Nowhere. Exactly. So this was a long way of me responding that, yes, I think that he could do well. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what that was. I think that the Heat can – listen, to say that the Heat are going to win the championship in early August is moronic. Yeah. But I believe that we have enough evidence, based on what we saw a year ago and based on the offseason moves thus far, you know, can you put five or six teams on the board? And I'll put the Lakers there out of respect, mm-hmm. you know, that can theoretically win the championship if they're healthy. I can put the Heat on that list, just like I could put the Bucks and the Nets and the Lakers and – I got to see what the Sixers do with, with, with uh, yeah, certainly I'll put the Suns there too. And 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 that's pr- not even the Hawks, not the Celtics, certainly not the Knicks. Not, that's, I mean, I got, if the Mavericks do, I, no, that's, it's a short list. Yeah, very. And I think the Heat are on it. You wouldn't put them on that list. I would. Okay. I would. Okay. But I, I just don't think it's going to be easy. Like, oh, I don't think it's, it's going to be easy. Not either. Nothing's dunk. easy. It's not a slam dunk by getting Kyle Lowry and PJ Tucker. Kyle? Kyle, Kyle Lowry. Lowry. I agree.